I spoke to a healthcare worker who has tested positive for COVID-19. She's struggling to survive. Let's hear what she has to say. I'm still temperature high, still, still in body ache. But other than that, it's just so stressful. Are you having a tough time breathing? No, the, the breathe, I don't have a problem breathing. I only had a problem with temperature not being normal. Oh, okay. How did you know that uh, you had contracted uh, COVID-19? So, I, first, I, I was at work Thursday, and I know I noticed that I was getting hot. And then I went home, and I called my job, said, I'm not going to make it in today. That was Thursday. Friday morning, I said, I'm not going to work. Then I got my temperature went up again. Then what happened is I took myself to the um, to the t- t- the uh, Elmhurst Hospital, um, the tent, and then they did the test there. Yeah, I passed by there the other day. They had a, a, a tent out there, and they had a long line of people. Yeah, but some sometimes they not everybody could be seen. I think people is just scared. They all just scared because you know this disease is crazy. So you went through the tent, and what happened? So um, one of the nurses, I, I didn't have to go to, back to that. I went up front. And um, so they took me in the tent, and they took my temperature. I took the temperature. Still was one of one. Then they gave me the two. They put me up in a um, room, which was very painful. They gave you the test, yeah. Yeah, that was so painful. Oh, my God. It was so painful. And so I went home. And I started feeling my body was aching, just yeah. aching. And then Saturday, the doctor called me and said that it came back positive. So I've been in a house in my room. Thank God I have a um, bathroom in my room and a, my backyard. Have, I didn't go to back in my backyard if I feel like sitting out there, but I have no strength. Are you, are you, uh, is somebody bringing, are you drinking plenty of fluids? Yeah, my grandkids, they are feeding me, and uh, I'm trying to, but it's just like, it's, I, I have no taste buds. It's just terrible. It wiped out your like, taste buds? Yep. So every time they fix me something to eat, I won't eat it all. I just throw it in the garbage. Yeah. What do you tell other people who are out there, and, uh, you know, what do you tell them about the symptoms or what they should watch out or look out for? First of all, they need to keep put if, in a hospital. There's a lot of germs going on, so you, people has to continue to wash their hand. Don't be close to any person because that make it worse. I have various coworkers that had went out as well, and they came back. But I, they, I just want people to know to wash your hands. If you gotta wear a mask, wear a mask. But don't play around with this here. Because even though I had a mask, um, I didn't go nowhere but to my boss's office and then found out that he had it. So people has to, you know, you don't know who has what. So, you know, I had no idea my boss would have it. So I found out he had it first and then that's when I got it. But people should be careful. Wear gloves if you have to. Wipe down everything. Doorknobs and stuff like that. And, and spray Lysol if you can but it's so important to keep your hand clean and stay indoors and, and stay indoors you, you can't go out unless you have a doctor's appointment yeah but well you're you're a healthcare worker you work at the hospital and uh, you know everybody we we praise you and thank you and God bless you guys you're on the front line and we thank you yeah. for all your service and the work that you guys do yeah it's so painful my body would be aching but I take medicine but you know that's all I can do I mean well, I'm in my bed like 24-7 well, and we, I'm one of those person to be working you know working yeah well we wish you well I'm going to continue to check up on you okay okay thank you so right. much we love you God bless love you Thank you so much for all of your service, and we're going to keep you in our prayers, and we wish uh, her and all of our colleagues well, because you are on the front line. We'll take a break. We'll come back with more next. <laughs> 